All right, welcome back. So question number seven, let's do this. So it says a research institute poll asked respondents if they felt vulnerable to identity theft. In a poll, n is equal to 1,068. So this n represents the, uh, the sample or all the people within the poll. 542, this x value represents, uh, are the people who said yes. And we need to use a 95% confidence interval. So use the best point estimate of the population proportion. Okie dokie. So A, B, C, and D. Let's do this. So um, here, this part A is asking find the uh, point estimate of the population proportion P. This P hat, we could just go uh, X over N. So here, our X value was uh, 542 out of the whole 1,068, okay? So this will just be your p hat. And uh, let's see, what does this equal as a decimal? So I'm going to, let me zoom in a little bit. Uh, okay, so here we'll do, uh -huh. so 542 over 1,068. And that equals, okay, it's giving me a, de a fraction. Let me try that again, 542 divided by 1,068. And I have uh, 0 0.507, okay, 0 0.507. So here, um, to find the next, this will be our p hat. To find the, identify the value of the margin of error E, so for part B, to find the margin of error, we need this formula over here. And this looks complicated, but it's not too bad. Here we have p hat, so p hat is 5.07. Q hat will just be one minus p hat. So q hat is equal to one minus 0.507. So one minus 0.507, and that equals uh, 0.493. Okay, that will be our q hat. Our, this z alpha over two, this represents the confidence, the Z value of our confidence interval. The problem is stating 95% confidence interval. So we're gonna use one point, we're gonna substitute 1.96 into this part over here. If the question said 90%, you're gonna use this value. If the question said 99%, it's gonna ask you, you have to substitute this value. Um, I doubt we're, we would ask any other confidence interval. That, that wouldn't be fair. But uh, yeah, these are the three that you should definitely know. So let's just substitute it in. This Z alpha over two, this is uh, 1.96. And notice that 1.96 is multiplying to whatever the square root of, let's see, our P hat is 0.507 and our Q hat is 0.493. And we're gonna divide that by our N value, which is 1,068. So I don't know what this value is off the top of my head, but we do have a calculator. So uh, how can I do this? So let me see if I can do this in one shot. So 1.96, oh, that's 1.95, parentheses, uh, second square root, and let me put in, um, okay, so here this will be parentheses 0 0.507, parent, oh, oops, sorry, seven, parentheses, close, parentheses open, 0.493, parentheses close, divided by 1,068, right? And if you don't have a calculator like this, what you could do is you could just do everything one at a time. So like maybe multiply these two, then take the square root, and then multiply by 1.96. But you could do this in one shot, and you get 0.2, I'm sorry, so E is equal to, sorry, is equal to point zero two nine nine so this should just be point uh, this should be point zero three zero okay when you round it so that's our e value not too bad okay so we're done with part b let's see so we're done with part b this is the e value so how do we use this e value for the next part for part c it's asking you to construct a confidence interval so the, this is the confidence interval for our population proportion p so our p value has to be less than well our p hat we know that's 0 0.507 and our e value is plus 0 0.030 and this has to also be less than 0 0.507 minus 0 0.030 okay so p is less than well what's this plus this 
this would be 0.537 and then here it would be uh, the, let's see 0.507 minus oops sorry minus 0 0.030 that is 0.477 and that's it that's our confidence interval C and let's look at the next part letter D it's saying um, let's see which of the following statements correctly interprets the confidence interval Oh, let's see. Which one would it be? There is a 95% chance that the true value of the population will fall between the lower bound and the upper bound. That's not right. 95% uh, of the sample proportions will fall between the lower bound and the upper bound. No. Um, definitely not these two. So one has a 95% confidence that the sample proportion is equal to the population proportion. That is not true. The sample proportion is not equal to the population proportion. It has to be this one here. And what this is saying here in this statement, it's saying that you have an here you have a you're using a 95% confidence interval. So you have a 95% con confidence interval that um, you know that it falls that this 542 over 1,068. I'm sorry, this value of p, this value of p falls within the p hat over here it falls within this range okay what I'm gonna try and do is I'm gonna try and make up another question like number seven and in another video and I'll try and find a better way to explain this question because I don't think I did that great of a job with part D but for part a B and C it's pretty straightforward you just you know just to recap for part a what you do is um, you just this is your p hat you just plug in x over n uh, your E value, you just plug it in. For the exam, you need to know which Z value to plug in. So, you know, if you have, if you're studying, you know, you have to know this. So make sure you have that down. This is the formula for E and then the confidence interval. Uh, this is the formula. So once you find your E value, all you need to do is take the P hat plus E and the P hat minus E and then just make that uh, interval. And that's it. Okay, I hope that helped.